What we're going to do in this video is some examples converting between liters and milliliters. And just as a reminder, milli means one thousandth. So a milliliter is one thousandth of a liter. Or another way to think about it, one liter is one thousand milliliters. So given that, how many milliliters would seven liters be? Pause the video and think about that. Well, if one liter is 1,000 milliliters, then seven liters would be 7,000 milliliters. And what about 18 liters? Pause the video and think about it. Well, that would be 18,000. 18,000 milliliters. So however, however many liters you've got, it would be 1,000 times as many milliliters because each milliliter is 1,000th of a liter. Let's do some more examples. So here it says blank milliliters equals 15 liters. Pause the video again, see if you can figure this out. Well remember, every liter is 1,000 milliliters. So 15 liters would be 15,000 milliliters. Remember, if you have a smaller unit, and here you're smaller by a factor of 1,000, the number that you would need of it to have the same as the large unit would be larger. So you have a smaller unit, so you have a larger number here. Let's do one more example. Compare using greater than, less than, or equal to. So nine liters, how does that compare to 90 milliliters? Pause this video and try to answer it for yourself. Well, how many milliliters is nine liters? Nine liters is the same thing as 9,000 milliliters. And 9,000 milliliters is clearly greater than 90 milliliters. So what you want to do in a problem like this is convert both to milliliters. 9,000 milliliters, that's what nine liters is. That's 9,000 milliliters. That's going to be greater than 90 milliliters.